doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures in the ES6 course on challenge 26 of 29. So today we're going to create a JavaScript promise. So promises are a whole concept of async await, asynchronous code versus synchronous code. Uh, that's a whole that's a whole paradigm. So uh, to briefly overview this, at least enough so you understand what's going on in the challenge, I'll do my best here. So a promise in JavaScript is exactly what it sounds like. You make a promise to do something, usually asynchronously, meaning not immediately, not in sync. So not immediately after the next, the previous thing. It takes a second for us to actually go through, right? We needed an example of a promise is like an API request. When if your you know code sends a request to a server for some data, that's a that's an example of oftentimes a promise or at least asynchronous code, right? You have to send the request. The promise would be the fact that you it's promising data will return and then you get your response back with your data okay so when the task completes you either fulfill the promise or fail to do so right so getting the data back that's a fulfillment and then it'll either fail which is a reject or it'll resolve on success and reject on fail uh, promise is a constructor function so you need the new keyword to create one it takes a function an argument and two parameters resolve and reject these are methods used to determine the outcome of the promise so this is the syntax okay so const my variable name my promise whatever you want to call it equals new keyword promise as a function so this is like well technically all of this is the promise function block but promise the first argument is a callback function so all of this is actually the first argument uh, and that's that's the argument that's it takes the the callback as its argument so within the callback is where we actually use these parameters to make different things happen based on the result but as of right now in this lesson all we're doing is setting up the promise and passing in reject or resolve meaning success or fail uh, these are f actually methods. These are functions of promise of a promise. So on success, it'll fire off this function within the callback. On a fail, it'll fire off this function within a callback. So all we're going to do right now is worry about creating a new promise and passing it in its resolve reject parameters. So in this case, we want to make a new promise called make server request. And once again, just pass in the reject resolve parameters and the, the promise itself will actually activate these based on the outcome so all we're doing is setting it up so it'll actually do what it needs to do so follow the same syntax let's go ahead and just say const and then they want it to be called make server request so make server camel case request and it's equal to so this variable is equal to the result of this promise so let's say new promise and promise is a function and it takes a callback as its method. So let's call back. And we can open the block up, the callback block up, just like they did here. And as you can see, just pass in the two parameters of reject and resolve to this callback arrow function here, this anonymous arrow function. So here we can just say resolve reject. And once again, these are actually methods of the promise, and it will activate these based on what happens of the pro well, in the promise right does it is it success or does it resolve or does it fail does it reject okay so these will actually be activated within the promise as of right now we're just setting it up again so let's just see if that's all we needed yep that is all we needed and the whole idea here is to understand the syntax of how to define a promise just like we define a function this is how we define a promise it's a constructor so we have to use the new keyword and give it the callback function as its parameter or as its main argument and that callback has to take the to re resolve reject basically success fail methods as its parameter okay and we're going to see what we do with those i'm sure in the next lesson so as of right now that's all we needed hope to see you guys in the next lesson if you have any questions or anything like that please leave a comment i'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video